I have learned so many things through this. I don't really like the term journey, but I can't think of a more fitting word. Going from having daily panic attacks and not being able to leave the house to now being able to manage my anxiety, I have learned so much. In some way, I feel grateful for my anxiety. My name's Rich and I'm a wildlife photographer from Devon. I grew up in Jersey and I've been living in Devon now for about five years and been professional for the last two years. I got into wildlife photography back in 2016 as a way of essentially escaping the everyday pressures of work, life, and it was just my way of switching off. So when I started wildlife photography, I had a job that triggered a lot of mental health issues. So I was having daily panic attacks, didn't know what they were. I genuinely was convinced that I was dying each time I had them. I started to get depression. I would just lock myself away in my bedroom. I didn't want to leave the house. I just needed to be doing something that I enjoyed doing to be fully happy. And I just took the one biggest thing that was causing me stress and just changed it. And that was my job. We were able to move over to Devon. And that's when I decided that I was just gonna focus fully on becoming a professional wildlife photographer. So today I'm at RSPB Ham Wall, right on the Somerset levels. And I've come out for a couple of reasons. It's just nice to get out. And the real reason, I'm hoping that I might be here to be able to witness the Stalin murmuration. My favorite wildlife counter? Yeah. I, I can do that easy. Yeah. Yeah, easy for sure. <laughs> normal to feel anxious. I think it's made me more compassionate, but more importantly, I've learned how to cope with it and to deal with it. And in some ways, stop it getting to the point where I'm lying in bed too scared to leave the house. And I've got wildlife photography and the natural world to thank for that. At this time of year, throughout the winter months, you can witness, if you're lucky, the starlings murmurating. And that's where I think most of us have probably seen it. And you see all of these patterns being made by the starlings. And although we've got some amazing light, it is quite early in the season. So there's no guarantee we're gonna see them. But I have been told they've been around over the last few weeks, although not in great numbers. So I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed and hopefully they turn up. Well, that was just really incredible. Deep down, I wasn't really sure whether we were gonna see a decent murmuration this evening. And uh, that was more than decent. That was just really, really nice to see. And just to hear as well. I don't know if I managed to get any particularly good images. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm still driving home happy. It's been such a nice few hours out in nature. And you know what the best thing about it is? We timed it perfectly because it's just about to start raining. So I'm gonna get back to the van and I look forward to returning back to this location in a couple of weeks time with my wife and my baby and sharing the murmuration with them. I just can't wait. But that was just such a nice afternoon out in nature. <laughs> 